Reductive versus oxidative winemaking. This is another element of the atmosphere. In this case, we're talking about oxygen, about air. And there are a lot of ways to approach this as well. And they often pair up uh, with temperature. Uh, for example, white wines that are very aromatic, that are fermented at cool temperatures, are often made in a reductive way. That means that it is protected from oxygen, minimally exposed. That is to keep, uh, keep the color intact. Those wines are often pale in color, and that is to prevent the degradation of the aromatic uh, elements of the wine, the you know, esters and um, terpenes that give those wines the aromatics. So reductive, low oxygen style for those wines. And then richer, fuller bodied white wines like Chardonnay that are barrel aged, red wines that are barrel aged are going to have a gentle ingress of oxygen over time. So we do not call them oxidized wines. Oxidized is usually a term that's associated with poor quality, a wine that maybe hasn't been treated well or that's too old but there is a gentle oxidation or oxidative process that happens. It sounds like a like very PC handling of the situation, um, but that's, that's how it's typically described. So anything that's, that's oak aged or perhaps a, a fortified wine that's made in an oxidative style will be exposed to air uh, either in small amounts or large amounts over the period of its life. And so, Wines that have a lot of character that come from secondary properties like wood aging, malolactic, um, something that's held for a long time in the winery before release, uh, those are often allowed to get a little bit of oxygen in them. 